In this video, we're gonna make windows. And these windows have a lot in common with the taverns and towns walls, except we're gonna add a little piece in the middle. So let's get started. Windows are very similar to walls. They just have this additional piece that's a window template. And then also you'll notice the interior part of the wall has a void in it where the window will go. We're gonna make two different windows in this tutorial just so you can kind of see what it's like to make a square and a rectangular window. Now I pre-painted two exterior pieces and we're gonna cut out the interior wall piece, making sure to leave that scaffolding in place there and just kind of cutting out everything other that we don't need. Now be careful when you snap this off of the strip because it can be a little bit more delicate than regular interior walls. Now we're going to glue, making sure not to put glue on our scaffolding. And now we're going to cut the interior piece for the window. And that's going to be out of our needle point material. And I put masking tape on there so you can actually trace out the template on top of the needle point. So then we're just going to trace out that window template and cut it out of the needle point. Now keep in mind, you might have to adjust this a little bit, like you might have to trim a little bit of the sides of the top off. And that's because this cavity might have been cut a little off. So after you've removed the scaffolding, Go ahead and test fit it and see if you need to trim anything off. And especially on the top too, you want to make sure that it's not above the top of the interior part of the wall because then you won't be able to stack stuff on top of this wall. They won't sit properly. There we go, that looks pretty good. And then last but not least, make sure to peel off that masking tape. It's going to be very hard to do that after you put the wall together. And I usually just put a little dab of hot glue on the bottom there to hold it in place. You don't need a whole lot for that window to stay in there. And then we just glue on the other side of the wall. And then the process to finish it is the same. Just paint the outside edge with quick coat all around to finish it off and give it some strength. The circular window is pretty much the same. Uh, except for on that interior wall piece, I like to trace out that circle and then cut it. It's a lot easier than trying to hold it, cutting a circle out of a template with your knife. You also know that this piece of interior wall is also pre-painted. And that's because if you notice on the finished circular window piece up top, there are small parts of the interior wall that will be visible. And the same thing here, we're going to cut out those areas, making sure to leave the scaffolding bit in there. And then it's time to glue on the interior bit and cut out the scaffolding. And here I'm adjusting a little bit on that one side because I want to have a little bit of a lip so that the edge of the window will be hidden by the exterior of the wall. And we're just gonna trace out our window using the window tool, just like we did for the other one. And again, you're gonna need to adjust the size of this a little bit probably. That's a little tight, so I'm gonna just kinda loosen that up a little bit with some trimming. There you go. Take off the masking tape. This one you don't even have to glue in place because it'll never be able to get out. And then just glue on the other wall. and finish the exterior with some quick coat to make it nice and sturdy and look good. And that's it for uh, windows. So if you haven't already, you can get started right now on your Torino journey by downloading the Torino construction manuals at GameGearMaster.com. They are consistently rated five stars and come with a 14 day hassle-free money back guarantee. That means if Torino's not for you, no problem. You'll get your money back, no questions asked. Happy crafting. And a big thank you to my supporters on patreon.com forward slash Game Gear Master. And a shout out to the architects on there who really go above and beyond. Brian Yao and William Dellinger, thank you so much. And apologies if I mispronounced your names. If you'd like to become a patron and get exclusive Trino products, go to patreon.com forward slash Game Gear Master.